This is our A105 forged steel class 800 glow valve. It's got an outside stem and yoke, which you can see around here. Uh, this this is, retains a gland seal just in here. So if this seal ever wears over time and you get seepage, you can tighten these two nuts down here to put more pressure back on the gland to seal it. It's operated by the hand wheel on the top. Clockwise to close, anti-clockwise to open. And you can see down here, these glow valves have a direction of flow because you want the pressure to be under seat. <laughs> on the side there's an arrow, you see right there. Now that represents the direction of flow and there's a direction of flow because if you have a look in this end here, you may just be able to make out the seat. Actually. On this side, you can see it from this side because it's down. Now the seat's in the shape of a globe. It's quite hard to see because it's a small orifice as well. But if you imagine the pressure coming along here, it cups up uh, up under a seat in this chamber here. If you imagine the bottom of a light globe, light bulb, this comes down and sits into the seat here. Now that the bottom of that globe is stellite reinforced. That's because it sits in the middle of the flow all the time. And if you had a medium like steam, it can be quite. It's going to wear. So the stellite's a very hard surface. The flow drive. A, a, a globe valve like this is quite good um, in steam applications or something where you need throttling or you need to open, you, know, you, bring the, you bring the line up to pressure slowly. As you open it, because it's got a globe, it only slowly lets some of the flow through until it's right up into the top of its cavity. And likewise, when you're closing it, it will cut the flow down. Not like a gate valve or a ball valve where you get maybe a three quarters of your flow in the, in the first quarter of opening. So the flow is proportional all the way up and of course you can go from a, a very low flow to a larger flow, a very large flow because of the ball, is that correct? That's uh, correct. Flow, well you can go to the flow, you can go to the flow with the maximum amount of this orifice will let through. It's not a large flow like a ball valve would be where it's completely, it's got to come up and over the seat still, so you still get tepidity in the flow, but it's good for throttling. You're right, because it's, it's it's more proportional than, say, a ball valve or a gate valve or something like this. Now, this is black steel, A105 forged steel. We call it black steel. It's actually a bluing process. Um, when it comes out uh, in the forge, they put it in hot oil, and it does a surface treatment on this. It's harder wearing and uh, makes it last longer. Is there a heat number on this so they can track the materials? There's a heat number. All of our valves come with heat number. This gives you material and testing cert certificates. You can see it's engraved on the slide on the side here. Might be a little bit hard to make out, but that's the heat number that relates back. These are all tested to AP598. These are made to API602, and these are the MPTNs to ASME, and it's all tested to AP59 API598. So this. This heat number here, you'll get material and testing certifications to that standard. What size is the, What size are in the range? They go from half inch to two inch NPT. We also can do threaded one end and socket weld the other end. We machine these out. You can also, or you can have socket weld both ends. Uh, it's, uh, pressure's up to 138 bar, depending upon the temperature. 